Hello, hello, and welcome back to episode 12 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft. Um, I'm Kevin Comer, and I am just finishing up the uh, torch tower here for the, um, the control for the chicken killer. So you can see it's, uh, you know, pretty simple. It takes a lot of torches. Um, unfortunately I guess there's no really uh, good way of getting around that either way it's gonna take uh, the same amount of dust to get to the top here but um, yep I'm just getting done here and uh, after I finish this I was thinking maybe I might do whoops that's not right might do some uh, some work on the um, aesthetics of the control panel for the whole thing um, you know I realize I've spent a few episodes doing some maybe more obscure things and uh, you know it, it hasn't looked like I've made a lot of progress so we're gonna do something that's gonna have a big uh, big visual punch um, but you can see I've mostly finished the core of this well maybe you can't see that well but uh, yeah, I've replaced um, some of the glass with some red wool, and um, yeah, just got uh, you know I had to harvest like ten stacks of red wool to finish this up, but you know we're getting real close on that. So yeah, we're good there. And wow, I blew it. <laughs> I completely blew it. How did I manage that? I thought I had it all worked out. Oh man. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to redo that old torch tower. Jeez, I can't believe I did that. But uh, oh, oh well. So you can see we're getting a lot of eggs there now. We got about 150 chickens in the feed chute there, and uh, you know they glitch out a little bit, but. They all stay in there. How many eggs we getting? Oh, wow. Yeah. Lots and lots of eggs. So, yeah. Once we uh, open up the chute going down, which, um, you know, that should... I actually did get that complete. Yeah, there's the red wool there. And that's the egg chute. So that's all done and ready to go. Uh, here I have, I think, where the permanent ladder coming up is going to be. This is the chute behind here for dropping the cooked chickens down to the bottom. Once we hit the button, which uh, I blew it on the torch tower. <laughs> and uh, here's where the villager comes up. So that's our four functions for the central core of the tower. Um, and then, you know, we will still have room for a spiral staircase coming all the way up. You can see there's just enough room around the edge here at the top. So that will be on the plate at some point. But, uh, you know, I'm going to fix this error. I can't believe I messed that up so badly. I'll fix that and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, uh, take two on getting the torch tower done, and it looks like I learned how to count this time. Uh, let's see here. Well, let me just finish it off. And okay, yeah. Uh, all right. So since it is currently in the uh, in the retracted position for the piston uh, what I need to do is go back down to the bottom and um, you know get this re reversed um, you know I wanted to do actually a test of um, of how long it takes to for the signal to propagate all the way up but first I have to go down and get this uh, this reversed up and then I have to put some items in there 
and then uh, we'll hit the button and see what happens and it's a good way to test that I got all the torches uh, properly placed too none of them on the side of a block instead of directly on top um, so whoops okay that hurt a little bit <laughs> all right so the bottom of the tower torch tower is right over here um, yeah, it's right, well, get down here. Okay, so, uh, we'll get rid of this. And, alright, so if I can get this signal up to this torch, um, in its current state, like, um, yeah, that's perfect. So, what I need to do is figure that out and then... I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got that figured out. Um, so that torch is in the position I want right now. I, I want it to be on. So I just moved this wire up a block and fed it into the block that that torch is sitting on. And that should work fine. Pretty simple solution to that. And uh, okay. Now, um, it's getting a little difficult to get around here. Uh, I should be able to put just a temporary button, uh, let's say right here, and that should be able to um, propagate the signal all the way to the top of the tower and drop some stuff down this chute right here. So actually I'll pick up some of these eggs. I got lots and we'll climb to the top of the tower We'll load them into the chicken cooking chute, and uh, then we'll come down and we'll hit the button. So while I'm climbing up, I'll just talk about a couple things. So, um, you know, the tower, this is looking really good. My bell tower over there, also looking really nice. The grounds around them, not looking so hot. So, uh... I want to spend some time working on some landscaping pretty soon. Uh, I have some ideas for some pretty cool, um, like real life style things I can do there. Like, um, you know, maybe some gardens and that sort of thing, but based on some real gardens. Um, let's see. Beyond that, uh, if anybody has any suggestions for some real life buildings that, um, maybe I could work into a project in the future uh, you know I'd be happy to hear them I won't necessarily use them just because um, okay yeah pistons in the right position just because you know I have ideas of uh, how everything should go and um, and that sort of thing but you know if you have any suggestions for buildings that are not you know, incredibly huge. Uh, this is about as big as I want to go. This building is about 191 meters tall, the Calgary Tower. Uh, so that's about as tall as I want to go. I don't want anything, you know, super massive in width or, you know, that, that sort of thing. And uh, things that can be realistically built in Minecraft. So, you know, I have some more ideas for some real life buildings myself, but I'll, I'll uh, willingly listen to some feedback. So, let's uh, load. Oh, I want that button. <laughs> now I'm going. Okay, I'm just going to throw some eggs down here. Man, it's hard to fight this current. And I hope those chickens aren't too incredibly loud. Uh, but yeah, I'll just throw a few stacks of eggs in there. Um, since... You know, I could hatch some baby chicks, but um, that won't work so well because they won't drop anything when we're cooked and we want to see how long it takes for stuff to fall down after I hit the button. So there should be three stacks of eggs sitting on the half slab that that piston is holding. So let's hold, head back down. And, uh, ooh. I'll switch my keyboard to the my uh, trusty stopwatch setting here and uh, we'll take a look here so I'll start right now and 
Did we get anything yet? I'm having trouble telling. Oh, there it is. Wow, it takes a while. 16 seconds, approximately. Uh, that's not terrible. That's... Yeah, that's acceptable. I just wanted to know. So, wow. Look how many eggs we're getting here. Yeah, this is the, the egg shoot here, and we're just... We're loaded. We're loaded on eggs, so we should have no problem now. Like I said, there's about 150 chickens up there. Uh, so, whoop. <laughs> that part works. And, um... It should actually be hooked up right now. Um, so, yeah, we have the end gate here that uh, won't be operational until I get the rest of the redstone done, which, you know, I haven't finished yet. Uh, that signal goes down there, down to that repeater, and damn it. Oh, man. I I'm going to be glad to be out of this uh, this cluster of redstone. So it was that repeater right there that sends it to... Yeah, there it is. Through this wire and then to the torch tower all the way up to the top. So yeah, we're looking at, uh, you know, 16 to 20 seconds to receive our food once we hit the button. We'll just have to be patient there. But next thing I want to do is I have enough done here... Uh, you know, wiring is done behind and stuff that I can spiff up the front here and get the uh, the desired look. Um, you know, I have uh, I have pretty well in mind what I want this to look like, and uh, so I'll collect some materials and we'll get to it. Hey guys, I brought dinner. There you go something to drink and I'm sure you can figure out what to do with that enjoy okay so uh, what we're gonna use for materials you can mostly see on my hotbar there um, I want to go with the flooring combining these uh, birch wood half slabs and uh, sandstone slabs you know they're, the color differentiation or you know the difference between them is not huge and we're probably going to go with you know a, a tiled type look and uh then for the walls i'm going with something uh darker we're gonna use a lot of these um these nether brick blocks you know half slabs stairs all that sort of thing and uh we're gonna have red wool accents the the red wool is kind of a theme for this whole build i guess that's that's the main accent color and there will also be a few glass panes just for uh, for a little extra decoration. So that's kind of um, what we're going with. And so I think the first thing um, I was looking at is uh, the floor. So we're going to have a little bit of trim, I think, right here um, where the wall is going to be. So we'll start. Uh, one block in and um, I think we're just gonna go with a straight tiled look for this um, you know there's some different some different patterns you can do like I can show you here uh, do I have another kind of half slab I'll let me get something I'll show you one of the patterns that I quite like um, but that I decided against because it just ended up looking a little bit too busy so what you do is, uh, I need a little space here. It's a, it's a neat one. I think this one's used quite a bit um, in, you know, actual real world applications. You have like one uh, small tile and then you come around the edge. Let me get rid of this. Um, with, you know, in, in Minecraft you need to use different colors or it just ends up looking like a muddled mess. But you kind of have this uh, pinwheel type pattern. And then in each of the corners, you just uh, use another one of the accent blocks. And you just continue on um, like that. Yeah, that's right. And like so. And um, 
yeah, that's how the pattern goes. Every time you have a corner, you just put one of these other colors in. And it looks pretty neat, but I think, yeah, it just ended up being a little bit too busy for what we're doing. So we're going to go with just a straight tiled look. So I'm going to lay some of that out, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, we, uh, we got something going here. I'm liking this. Um, so we got some tile laid out. We got a bit of an accent strip of the red wool along there. Um, let's see here. So these buttons are in place. Um, let's see. Kind of like to uh, maybe separate them a little bit visually. So maybe we can come up with something like this. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. And then I think we'll continue a lot of this um, this nether brick look on this back part here and then uh, we'll, we'll have some of the birch wood accents yeah I'm thinking this is looking nice you know I'm kinda trying to go for a bit of a modern look to it and uh, you know I looked at a few pictures for inspiration and a lot of really high-end you know hotel lobbies that sort of thing they tend to have like a nice light colored tile and then uh, they have some rich dark colors uh, on the walls so that's that's kinda what I'm going for I'm thinking this is looking this is looking pretty nice so yeah this is not going to stay in the same design but uh, all these components are in their final spots so yeah you'll come over here hit the button on this side and that's actually functional right forgot about that um, to shoot the eggs and somewhere right around here we'll have the uh, the shoot where you pick up the eggs so you pick them up come over here load them in hit the button to fire them and then when you're ready to get cooked chicken hit the button here and uh, that is not functional right yeah because the hand gate and then you'll come pick up the uh, cooked chickens in a shoot somewhere here uh, you know 15 or 20 seconds after you hit the button so I'll work on a little bit of this back part. I'm going to have to be careful because there is some water and stuff behind that. Um, but I should be able to get it done without too much trouble. Take down these stairs. I'm not too fond of that. And uh, we'll have to integrate some more lighting in here. I'm going to have to move these chests. I think we'll put some more lamps in the floor like right here and here. And then you know, we have a kind of a semi-circle look. Nice step down after that. So it's a little bit raised up, and then beyond that, we'll be kind of uh, arcing around the sides with some more, some more cool-looking stuff. So I'll get a little more work done, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, I'm carefully, carefully replacing this uh, wall with the uh, the nether brick, and over here, I'm going to do. Mm, I need to get up there. Uh, well, we're going to do another row of the, uh, the glass panes above, like so. Yeah, I think that's looking nice. And uh, I don't, I want them to connect here like they are, but I don't want them to connect uh, at the back. So I'm going to use uh, some upside down stairs there and uh, yeah, you won't be able to tell. I just put this wool here as a water break in case I broke through um, like I did right here. <laughs> Stops it from getting down into the redstone and causing me hours upon hours of extra work. So, yeah, I'm glad I came up with that before I started breaking anything. Anyways, let's get up top there, place these stairs and so that's right in here just did that go right yeah that's correct like so and then a regular block there yeah I like that so I'll do that on the other side and um, yeah I'm liking the color scheme we'll have a few more neat designs here and there and um, yeah I'll do a little bit more and I'll be back. 
Well, uh, my friend Biff, uh, aka Econo Emu, came over for a visit. Uh, you can see his skin is shoop de whoop. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, he's just checking things out. I don't think he's been over here for a while. Um, yeah, so uh, I got things going well over here in the front. Uh, <laughs> Yep, 150 chickens. Gives you a lot of eggs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I think this is looking really quite nice. Um, let me just back up a little bit more here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice look, I think. So those lamps up there give a nice little bit of lighting for up top. And, uh, I'll show you something actually kind of neat about that. So, because I don't have any, whoops, any power going directly to the, uh, the button lamps, I can do something a little bit neat here to have the lamps kind of stacked up. So, uh, what's going on here is, check it out, you just got a torch actually directly directly on top of uh of that lamp and because like i said there's no power going directly into that lamp they're powered indirectly through a block uh these lamps up here will always be on despite that torch being kind of funny and a little bit of a funny hidden spot and uh yeah so we are actually going to have a balcony up here um so we'll have a floor just on top here. I haven't uh, figured out what kind of material I want there. We have a nice border here. I mean, actually this birch, this, these uh, birch half slabs don't look too bad. Um, yeah, that's not so bad. So yeah, you'll be able to walk right up to this central column here in the front. I'll have to figure out some way to get some lighting up here, but that's just temporary right now. So that's looking pretty good. You'll be able to look down. I guess you can see a little bit of the stone brick there. I'll have to maybe replace some of that with some red wool, but um, yeah, I'm liking it. Yeah, how many blocks down do I have to go? Maybe like five more down so you can't see any of it. Yeah, that should work. All right, and man, I wish they would fix this this uh, Z fighting. I think a lot of people call it. Where since these are half slabs here, um, the uh, yeah, you get this weird flickering here. But hopefully that'll be fixed in the future. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking this. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the floor here. Um, you know, it might be a little busy. I mean, the, co the color differentiation is not too bad. I don't know why I keep saying differentiation. It's the color difference is not, not too extreme, but, you know, it might be a little much. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, I'm going to cut here and we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do uh, the first official test of the killing system. So we have Biff as our guinea pig. And he's going to let the water streams take him. And, uh, yeah, so he'll be down in there. And he's ready for the slaughter. And I will uh, go down to the bottom and let him have it. So just give me a sec to get down there. And, uh, well, yeah, it's a bit of a climb down. Yeah, we have to make sure we, oh, give him enough time for the, uh, the signal to propagate up and, and, uh, yeah, so we'll use the lava system to kill him and we'll get his drops <laughs> and let me just break in here to the uh 
Let's see, will this work for us? Yes, it will. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we'll just stand over here and wait. Oh, so it worked. It burned him to death. And we're just waiting for... Ugh. Well, <laughs> I guess that's what uh, that's what he dropped. Ugh, that's kind of gross. Well, well, whatever. Uh, so I think that's gonna be just about it for today's episode. And uh, so yeah, we made some progress here on the look of things. I'm liking this. Um, Hmm, one light is on. I guess maybe something hit the pressure plate over there. I'm going to have to cover all that up eventually, but I'm liking how this is looking. Um, this is kind of the start of the theme for the whole lower section of the tower here. So, you know, we got to work some staircases around and some nice maybe sitting areas and that sort of thing. And uh, you'll have to build up the uh, the item shoots. So I have, you know, a bunch of silk touched ice to do that soon but um yeah before next episode i promise i'm going to finish the redstone um yeah we'll get all the rest of the circuitry in i'll get it in any way i can and then that will uh show us where we can and can't build and we can finish the look of this place and yeah so everything's going well and uh thanks again for watching